often asked what to wear in the bush when it's cold at 29 below. In the winter time, you want to make sure you have polypropylene long underwear. We wear, we like Helly Hansen, heavyweight. Wool socks, these are uh, Canadian military wool socks and a second pair of wool socks. Again, poly, mid to heavy weight, long underwear. The pants, these are Mountain Equipment Co-op, windproof and waterproof, no liner. It's all about layers, trapping layers between you, layers of air. Again, a wool shirt. This particular one's from Eddie Bauer. Heavy wool, and that's it. Cotton kills in the wintertime. Avoid cotton. A wool sweater for when the cold, cold days. This is a 100% wool sweater again. I believe it's from Eddie Bauer. 100% wool. Uh, these are rain pants. Windproof, waterproof. No insulation, but you have three layers, one, two, three trapping air. Good for walking on the snow machine and that. The insulation factor, if you're just standing around like a stick is good, but if you're moving around, what you want is trapped air. Good pants. Uh, the very, very end layer, we like wearing Canadian, Canadian military army parkas. Again, layer system. It's your thick insulated layer with an outer shell. Again, trapping air. On your hands, the gloves stay on all the time. They're lined thin, a summer glove, but they're, they're lined. With our thick waterproof. This is a, basically like a shell but it's lined with a thick, thin liner inside, but waterproof. Fur hat, our boots, our baffin. Uh, not good for walking boots, uh, but they're waterproof, so in case you get into slush, extremely warm and uh, a good boot to have. So that's, that's the, whole, the whole kit. For going uh, going outside, staying warm, and if you do happen to sweat, you're not going to freeze to death. I always keep uh, two lighters with us and our knife. That way there, if uh, machines break down or you have any problems, you're going to survive. So that's it.